Yahusha, Joshua 10. Now it came to pass when Adani Sedech, king of Yerushalayim, had heard how Yahusha had taken Eth Ai and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Yericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king and how the inhabitants of Givon had made peace with Eth Yashar'el and were among them, that they feared greatly, because Givon was a great city, as one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than Ai, and all the men thereof were mighty. Wherefore, Adani Sedech, king of Yerushalayim, sent unto Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Peram, king of Yarmut, and unto Yafia, king of Lachish, and unto Devir, king of Eglan, saying, Come up unto me, and help me, that we may smite Eth Givon. For it has made peace with Eth Yahusha, and with Eth the children of Yashara'el. Therefore, the five kings of the Emorim, the king of Yerushalayim, the king of Hebron, the king of Yamuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglan, gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped before Givon, and made war against it. And the men of Givon sent unto El Yahusha to the camp to Gilgal, saying, Slack not your hand from your servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us. For all the kings of the Amorim that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. So Yahusha ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into your hand. There shall not a man of them stand before you. And Yahusha therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. And Yahuwah discomfited them before Yashara'el and slew them with a great slaughter at Givon, and chased them along the way that goes up to Beit Kharan, and smote them to Azqua, and unto Machida. And it came to pass, as they fled from before Yashara'el, and were in the going down to Beit Kharan, that Yahuwah cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Yashara'el slew with the sword. Then spoke Yahusha to Yahuwah in the day when Yahuwah delivered up Eth the Amorim before the children of Yashara'el. And he said in the sight of Yashara'el, Son, stand still upon Givon, and you, moon, in the valley of Eyalan. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the Sefer 
of Yashar. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hastened not to come about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it, that Yahuwah hearkened unto the voice of a man. For Yahuwah fought for Yashara'el. And Yahusha returned, and all Yashara'el with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. But these five kings fled and hid themselves in a cave at Machedah. And it was told Yahusha, saying, The five kings are found hid in a cave at Machedah. And Yahusha said, Roll great stones upon the mouth of the cave, and set men by it for to guard them. And stay ye not, but pursue after your enemies, and smite the hindmost of them. Suffer them not to enter into their cities. For Yahuwah Eloheikem has delivered them into your hand. And it came to pass, when Yahusha and the children of Yashara'el had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter, till they were consumed, that the rest which remained of them entered into fenced cities, and all the people returned to the camp to El Yahusha at Machedah in peace. None moved at his tongue against any of the children of Yashara'el. Then said Yahusha, Open at the mouth of the cave, and bring out those five kings unto me, out of Eth the cave. And they did so, and brought forth those five kings unto him, out of Eth the cave. Eth the king of Yerushalayim, Eth the king of Hebron, Eth the king of Yarmuth, Eth the king of Lachish, and Eth the king of Eglon. And it came to pass, when they brought out Eth those kings unto El Yahusha, that Yahusha called for all the men of Yashara'el, and said unto the captains of the men of war, which went with him, Come near, put Eth your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near, and put eth their feet upon the necks of them. And Yahusha said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Be of, rather, be strong and of good courage. For thus shall Yahuwah do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. And afterward, Yahusha smote them and slew them and hanged them on five trees. And they were hanging upon the trees until the evening. And it came to pass at the time of the going down of the sun that Yahusha commanded, and they took them down off the trees and cast them into the cave wherein they had been hid and laid great stones in the cave's mouth, which remain until this very day. And that day Yahusha took Eth Machedah and smote it with the edge of the sword, and Eth the king thereof he utterly destroyed them, and Eth all the souls that were therein. He let no one, he let none remain, and he did to the king of Machedah, as he did unto the king of Yericho. Then Yahusha passed from Machedah, and all Yashara'el with him, unto Livna, 
and fought against Livna. And Yahuwah delivered it also, and Eth the king thereof, into the hand of Yasher El, and he smote it with the edge of the sword, and Eth all the souls that were therein. He let none remain in it, but did unto the king thereof as he did unto the king of Yericho. And Yahusha passed from Livna and all Yashara'el with him unto Lekish and encamped against it and fought against it. And Yahuwah delivered Eth Lakish into the hand of Yashara'el, which took it on the second day and smote it with the edge of the sword and eth all the souls that were therein, according to all that he had done to Livna. Then Horam, king of Gezir, came up to help eth Lakish, and Yahusha smote him and eth his people, until he had left none, rather had left him none remaining. And from Lakish, Yahusha, passed unto Eglon, and all Yashara'el with him. And they encamped against it, and fought against it. And they took it on that day, and smote it with the edge of the sword. And eth all the souls that were therein, he utterly destroyed that day, according to all that he had done to Lachish. And Yahusha went up from Eglon, and all Yashara'el with him, unto Hebron, and they fought against it. And they took it and smote it with the edge of the sword, and eth the king thereof, and eth all the cities thereof, and eth all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon, but destroyed it utterly and eth all the souls that were therein. And Yahusha returned, and all Yashara'el with him, to Devir, and fought against it. And he took it, and eth the king thereof, and eth all the cities thereof. And they smote them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed eth all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining. As he had done to Hebron, so he did to Devir, and to the king thereof, as he had done also to Livna, and to her king. So, Yahusha smote eth all the country of the hills, and of the Negev, and of the valley, and of the springs, and eth all their kings. He left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed, as Yahuwah Elohai of Yahshara'el commanded. And Yahusha smote them from Kadesh Barnea, even unto Gaza, and eth all the country of Goshen, even unto Givon. And eth all the, these kings and eth their land did Yahusha take at one time, because Yahuwah Elohai of Yahshar El fought for Yahshar El. And Yahusha returned, and all Yahshar El with him unto the camp, to Gilgal.